it's Kia here from Kia Creates, bringing you journal inspiration, stickers and playful creativity. Today I'm back with another bracelet themed video. In case you didn't know, I made over 100 bracelets to trade at the Eras Tour. If you want to find out how I made them, the kind of beads I use, things like that, then I'd recommend checking out my recent video called Let's Make Friendship Bracelets. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the haul of amazing bracelets that I traded for at the Eras Tour. Trading bracelets was honestly one of my favourite parts of the show. It was just so fun to go up to people, compliment their amazing creative outfits, ask if they want to trade, exchange our bracelets. It was such a buzz and I really could just do it all day, every day, to be honest. I loved it. I was in my element. I'm going to start the haul by showing you this lovely keyring because this was the only keyring that I got. This was from Emma, so thank you Emma. And it's so nice, it's got a little cat charm and a moon charm and it's midnight themed. The rest of the haul I've kind of separated by bead type because when I was trading I wasn't sure how to decide what to have because everyone just had such amazing bracelets and they were letting me choose. So I kind of went for collecting bead types that I hadn't seen or didn't have many of because I thought it'd be fun to come back with like the wildest variety of bracelets possible. So these are the bracelets that have those kind of clay disc beads. A special mention of course to the you're gay bracelet because I was hoping I'd get a funny one like this and I love the rainbow charms on it. Next up we have some really pretty bracelets made with what I'm calling pearl beads. I don't know what they're actually called, they're like the round ones. I really wanted a Starbucks love of bracelet because I thought it was just a funny in-joke so I'm glad I got one of those. And I thought this Travis one was cute because a little girl wanted to trade this with Will, my boyfriend. I think she thought that because he was like a man he would really want the Travis one and it was sweet. I was also happy to get a Je suis calm bracelet because I love the me music video so that was a good reference too. I traded for just two of these bracelets with the silver cube letter beads, one for dress and one for question, they're so cool. And then probably the bracelets that I got the most of were the ones with these kind of, they're not seed beads because the seed beads are the really tiny ones, these ones are like slightly larger but they're the same kind of beads that I made my bracelets with. And I got so many fun ones of these, of course we don't like John so this one made me laugh. And in my opinion, I cry a lot but I am so productive is one of the most iconic lyrics from the Torture Poets department so I was happy to get this bracelet. I love the colour scheme of these ones, especially with these colourful letter beads. I was hoping to get a bracelet like this with like a colourful bead for each era, so this one makes me happy. And then special mention to rad instead of red, which is hilarious. Next we have these three very pretty bracelets that all have butterfly beads, and I love that I just saw the butterfly on someone's arm and I was like, yep, I'll have that one. Every time I even look at the stupid old pickup truck bracelet, I immediately get picture to burn stuck in my head so bad. We've got the nice daylight one, and then bigger than the whole sky, as well as the pretty butterfly beads it also has these nice blue hearts which I love these ones are so pretty then we have a fun collection of bracelets with what I'm calling kiddie beads and I mean that in the best way you know like big colorful beads I love these we've got one for gorgeous speak now with these cute colorful cube letters and then the lover one just has so much going on obsessed and this invisible bracelet which has the nicest color scheme I've not seen these pale green beads often these are specifically bracelets that have star beads, love them, and they really help me like pick them out on someone's arm. I just saw the star and was like, oh yeah, just like with the butterflies. I accidentally broke this lovely paper rings one while I was taking it on and off, but don't worry, I did manage to repair it and all the beads stayed on, so that was good. We didn't lose any. I love that Will traded for this albatross bracelet and he was so excited because he loves the albatross, it's one of his favourites. Death by a Thousand Cuts, one of our surprise songs, so that one's special to me. And then I love Chloe Sam's Fiat or Marcus, so that was a fun one to get. The generosity of the star beads on the end game and mine bracelets are just amazing. Love them, they're like extra special. And then we also have a really cute bejeweled one, which is obviously very apt for a bejeweled bracelet. And here's the evidence that I did in fact repair that bracelet, so it's all good. Next, there are a few bracelets that have like interesting or different beads that I couldn't really categorise. For example, the nice big purple beads in this bracelet. I've just realised I have two for mine, but that's fine. I love the big crystal-like beads in this bracelet. They sort of speak to my inner child. And this one fits me really well. I don't know, there's something about this one. It's definitely one of my favourites. The other two are Paramore themed. As a Paramore fan who also made Paramore bracelets, I was very happy to trade for these. One has really nice flower beads and the other has these fun, huge smiley faces. Now these three bracelets are three of my favourites. These are what I'm calling the fancy ones. Like, you know these people went to town with these bracelets. We've got this white horse bracelet where someone's made the beads into these flowers, which looks so complicated and so pretty. And you know that people are serious about this bracelet making when they actually have a proper clasp, which all of these do. Like, they've really made them fancy. This Kings and Queens one, how cool, it's got like three strands and they're threaded together and they sort of twist around and I love the colour scheme, so that one is really really nice. 
And then one of my top favourites is this My Beloved Ghost bracelet. I traded for this with Caitlin, who is someone that I was speaking to before the show, and we were hoping we'd be able to trade. So it was really nice that we got to. It's so pretty, the pattern is so nice, and the fact that it's ghostly also speaks to my spooky little Halloween heart. So I'll definitely be wearing this one very often. Last but not least, I've saved these ones to last because they make me so excited. These are all the bracelets I traded for that have little charms on them. There's something so special and cute about these charms and every time I saw one on someone's arm I would just gasp and be like yes I need a charm bracelet. We have a cute little castle charm for the castle's crumbly bracelet, a musical note for this TS bracelet, cute silver butterflies for this long live bracelet. I'll definitely be wearing the August bracelet with the starfish charm for the entire month and then the R song bracelet has a little cowboy boot and a cowboy hat. How sweet! So those are all the bracelets that I traded for at the Eras Tour. I went with 120 and I think I came back with about 60. So I did give quite a few away and I'm so happy with my haul. I hope you've enjoyed looking through it. I do just have a few more bracelets to show you. These ones are from Emily of Alive Journaling. We both love journaling. We both love Taylor Swift. Uh, we both love Halloween. We have a lot in common. So we decided to do a little bracelet trade. We traded via post, we sent each other some bracelets and I'm currently making a journal spread about what she sent me using the envelope and the little notes she made about each of the bracelets. All of them were so pretty so thank you Emily and I did want to include them in this video because I thought it was nice to share with everyone. And one last set of bracelets I wanted to share with you are these. They're bracelets I've made, one for each of the surprise songs we got at our show, Hits Different, Death by a Thousand Cuts, The Black Dog, Come Back Be Here and Maroon. Honestly, I can't believe like I'm still not over our surprise songs. They're probably the best I could have ever asked for. I still haven't seen a night where I've liked the surprise songs more than ours, so I'm very excited. But the reason that I've made these is because I'll be making a memory box. I'll actually be making two memory boxes, one for me, one for Lucy, about our Eras Tour show, containing some of the bracelets that you've just seen from this haul, photos, confetti, the light up bracelets that you get from the stadium. So it's gonna be really fun to make this into a memory box. The video of my creation process for that will be out very soon. And then I also have another video with just another little idea of how to display some of your bracelets that you've traded. So if that's something you'd be interested in, hopefully I'll see you back here soon for that. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.